Once upon a time, things were looking good for our heir Rosalie Bastianich and her high school sweetheart Finley broke. Now, it seems like everything is going right down the toilet. It was finally here, the last few days of Rosalie's first term of university at Brightchester. Though she was sad that this brief chapter of her life was already over with, not to mention extremely fearful of her upcoming exams, our heir was looking on the bright side, happy to return home to Crumbling Isle, Windenburg, and back into the arms of her beloved family. Mother and founder Gwyneth Westwood, little shit of a sister Bella Westwood, and good family friend Tanisha Stallings. She was happy to see her old bedroom again, visit her friend Courtney and Godson JJ, and have a mental break from all of her academic stress. But the one thing she definitely couldn't get a break from was Finley and his demands. The conversation the two of them had last night really broke her heart, and not for the reasons you'd think. She was devastated that she hurt Finley so much. She has been such a terrible partner lately. She's been lying to him non-stop about everything, and no matter how how hard she wanted to, she couldn't force the truth out of herself. Lying about attending a party hurt Finley like hell. Imagine telling him that she didn't want to get married after next term. Then again, Rosalie also found herself angry with her lover. Who cares that she went to a party? Does she have to tell him absolutely everything she does in her day-to-day -day life? Why would he expect her to happily marry him when they never talked about marriage to begin with? Unfortunately, it was too late. He gave her a way out yesterday at the park, telling her that he wanted to make sure she was all in. And she didn't take the bait when she should have. She was locked into this engagement. And soon, would be Mrs. Rosalie Broke. Maybe she'll just hyphenate it or something. Rosalie tried not to cry through her first round of exams, but she struggled immensely as she used the research archive machine in the library. <laughs> she felt pathetic as she held back tears in front of her fellow debate members. God, how did she let things get this bad? Why did she let herself get sucked into an engagement she never wanted? Things were so perfect before, but now she worried about their future constantly. She wasn't happy, and even as she got up on the stage to debate for the climate crisis against her opponent, she still couldn't shake thinking about Finley. She needed some escapism, and she needed it now. Luckily, she had a great excuse to avoid Finley right now. They were both busy studying for and taking their exams. Rosalie was done for the day, so she headed to Pepper's Pub in Gibbs Hill to depressingly drink and study alone, because that's a healthy coping mechanism. You're looking more like your father every day. In fact, that reminds me of a dark thought Rosalie was having lately, with everything going on with Finley. She couldn't help but start randomly thinking of her father here and there again. She'd barely thought of him her whole time here at Brightchester, but now it was like she couldn't get him out of her mind, not necessarily because she missed him, but because she was starting to understand him. Joseph Bastianich was a broken, broken man, so broken that he had to use alcohol to cope, so broken that he had to lie to the people he loved the most. That made her wonder about what truths her father was hiding. Rosalie had truths, and Rosalie lied often because of them. She had her reasons, maybe Joseph had his too, in the middle of deciphering the mindset of her father. She was interrupted by a familiar face, her good friend Kimberly Petty had stopped by two party. As she finally finished her exams, she was so glad to see Rosalie here. She started venting to her about how stressful all her tests were, but she stopped one once she noticed how teary-eyed Rosalie was, were the exams kicking her ass too. She was stressed from exams, but Rosalie clarified that that wasn't what was putting her in such a somber mood. She tried to hold her tongue, but she was so overwhelmed that she just couldn't do it anymore. She doesn't want to marry her fiancé Finley. Oh my god, Kimmy was so glad to hear Rosalie say that. Because, did she have thoughts? She'd been holding back on saying this for a while out of respect for Rosalie. Rosalie, but she wanted to be honest with her, and Rosalie wanted somebody's honest opinion on the topic more than anything. Kimmy doesn't think that Rosalie should marry Finley anytime soon. She's young, she's hot, she's building her life. Why the hell would she settle down now out of all times? They have so much time for that, she should be at the club, or traveling the world, or... 
experimenting, Rosalie wondered why the hell Kimmy brought that up. What made her think Rosalie wants to experiment? Oh please, Kimmy said. She's gayer than a pride parade being hosted by RuPaul and Ellen DeGeneres. Rosalie waited way too long to leave the room when she walked in on her strapping down April. She sensed in that moment that something fruity was going on. Rosalie denied, denied, denied she wasn't gay. But then she remembered who she was talking to, the certified freak of University of Brightchester's Drake Hall. Okay, fine. Rosalie has thought about what it's like being with a girl, but just a few times, she was still way more attracted to men. Besides, fantasizing about woohooing with a girl wasn't a good enough reason to leave Finley. She loves him. He's her best friend. Kimmy argued that wanting to experiment was actually a great reason to leave Finley. College is the time where you are supposed to experiment. If she doesn't do it soon or ever, then she's going to be wondering about it for the rest of her life, which could end up with her cheating on him in the future, which would probably hurt Finley way more. Rosalie feels like she's too young to marry. She wants to get settled into her career first. She feels like she has a lot of unresolved issues she needs to sort out too. Like the trauma revolving around her father before taking a huge step like marriage. And she felt so damn good finally talking about this with someone. She's been holding it in for way too long. Kimmy was glad she felt comfortable enough to tell her this. She understood where she was coming from. And she knows she loves Finley. But if Rosalie doesn't break off this engagement soon, than later, she is going to regret it for the rest of her life. If Finley truly loves her, he will understand her need to grow on her own. Perhaps they can take a break and get back together in the future. She should be throwing it back, not throwing a wedding. Rosalie knew Kimmy was right. She's known this entire time, and getting all of that out of her system made her feel so much better by the time they got back to the dorms. Kimmy was about to feel real good too. She had yet another strap appointment with one of the girls from their dorm. It wouldn't be a proper Rosalie in Brightchester episode without Kimberly getting her free con. And while she was busy doing that, Rosalie finished up what was left of her homework due in the morning, left with no tears to cry. Did this sitch just give Kimmy a gift for giving her the best sloppy she's ever received? Rosalie, maybe you should give experimentation a try. Not her asking if she can move in with Kimmy right after somebody rev up the U-Haul. Did this dude just piss himself in the middle of the Drake Hall? Yeah. I'm glad this term is over with. The morning soon came, meaning a break from exams. Today was all about the debate guild, and most importantly, not about Finley. In fact, the two of them spoke on the phone briefly about how Rosalie would not be seeing him for a few days once she gets back to Windenburg, as she wants to spend time with her family. Finley completely understood. One thing Rosalie was really going to miss was the debate guild. It was probably the highlight of her time here. Something about arguing with people was so satisfying. She could finally let all of that built-up rage inside her body out in a healthy manner while also increasing her research and debate skill. She debated her heart away, and of course, she won. That win of hers, ranking her up to a level to member. She was aiming for level 3 next term. After saying her goodbyes to her fellow team, members. She sat outside and FaceTimed with her mummy Gwyneth for a bit, making sure everything was up to date with Rosalie's flight back home the next day. She finished her night with a bit more cramming, wishing she could go out for a drink. Her brain felt like it had been deep fried, but she persevered, staying up until the wee hours of the night before waking up early the next morning, hitting up the Drake Hall gym to help with some of her nerves, and getting her day started with a fresh bowl of oatmeal from the dining hall. Onto the exams. I wonder if her offerings for academic success worked. And just like that, Rosalie had finished all of her exams, her first term of university was officially over. Rosalie still had a few hours left before her flight back home. So she decided to spend some time with Kimberly before being separated from her the whole break. She was going to miss her so much. They sat down at the bench and got to chatting. Rosalie asking what Kimmy's plans were over break. Kimmy said that there really isn't much to do in Brightchester. Since it's a college town and all. So she was probably going to be bored all break. 
Rosalie paused. She was planning on spending her break here in Brightchester. Kimmy thought it was obvious. She was kicked out of her foster home the second she aged up to a young adult. She didn't have any place to live besides campus. She figured she could couch surf for a while or stay at some of her woohoo buddies places here and there. And she definitely can't afford getting an apartment. She didn't really have anywhere else to go. Rosalie was devastated hearing that. Not once did she have have to worry about not having a place to sleep but she did have to worry about her final grades damn i guess she isn't a valedictorian anymore well rosalie simply couldn't stand for that she told kimmy that she has no choice now but to stay with her and her family in windenburg over the break kimmy was in disbelief really going to windenburg with her yes rosalie said she wouldn't be able to sleep at night not knowing if kimmy was safe or not she can sleep with her in her bedroom room or in the old playroom or in the upstairs TV room. It could be fun, like a really long sleepover. She could show her around Windenburg and she could meet Finley and Courtney and JJ and they can go do all sorts of things. Kimmy really liked how that sounded and she'd never been to the ritzy world of Windenburg before. Okay, she said, she was all in. Rosalie was so happy. It would be such a fun break with Kimmy by her side. She could only imagine the amount of trouble they were about to get themselves into. I wonder how Finley will feel about it. 